percent. Yeah, so I'll do so that. Instagram, Instagram will not be able to see this intro. I mean, not many live art shows start off that way. Start off that way. Right. Half the people so, didn't get to see that intro, correct? Yeah, so you have yeah. to go to the YouTube playback to see that intro with me and Charlie Watts, double drumming and telling which, it's amazing. Which is, which is mega, mega cool. So Rob, when these things when these things start off, people slowly kind of start joining. And so maybe we start off with, I know they're your followers, but who are you? Where are you right now? And what are we about to do? All right. I am Rob Shanahan. You guys know me. Uh, you're all here to see me. Uh, I'm in Venice, California. I'm in my office. Nobody gets to ever really come to my office. Well, if you come over, I'll show you my office. But the cool thing about doing this show live from my office uh, is I get to share with you my personal collection of memorabilia that doesn't go anywhere. Like, look at this. Signed Drumhead by Charlie Watts, Ringo Starr, and Jim Keltner. How cool is that? I don't take that on the road with me to my live keynote speaking engagements. So being in my office, in my studio, uh, I get to share some really cool stuff. So I'm looking forward to having a fun time. Uh, we got lots to talk about, some great stories behind some of my more memorable images. Uh, and if you have any questions, as you can see on the bottom scroll, fire away, I wanna know. The best part about my live keynote is the q and I love doing it. So throw some questions at me, I'm ready to go. Uh, we got my man Patrick and my man Juan here with me and Jonathan somewhere. Hopefully you're on with us now. So uh, we're going to make this just a fun hang. And look, I know we've all been sitting around with COVID trying to work out of our offices. And, you know, I, listen, March 2020, the phone calls started coming in. Everything started canceling. So uh, me and my buddies put together a covid sidewalk jam band which i'm sure you've seen on my social it was so much fun uh you know it's more for us as musicians to get out and play than it was for entertaining the neighborhood and i really enjoyed that so that makes this even more important and more special because i love going out to my keynote speaking engagements i love doing the live gallery shows that's all part of my thing i really really enjoy it and i missed it for a whole year and a half now uh, all my gallery shows that I had scheduled for last year closed or shut down. Uh, so being here today with you is therapeutic for me. Uh, hopefully you get to come. Uh, you've come to uh, enjoy some behind the scenes rock and roll stories and I'll share some cool stuff with you. So uh, I'm just happy to be here. So thanks for coming. And uh, you guys want to get started? What do you say, Patrick? Yeah, yeah, let's let's talk about some ground rules first. So yeah. Rob's having a live art show and he's going to be showing some of his pieces, which are available for purchase. Now, Rob is one of these photographers that's in the rarefied atmosphere in which before the show starts, half the inventory is already been purchased. So yeah, sorry, guys. We apologies on that. Like fifty percent of the inventory. But hey, yeah. look, if you really want something, let me know. Send me an email. I can certainly make another copy for you and I'll give you a deluxe deal. And I think at the end of the show, we're going to have a special discount uh, sale price. So we'll talk about that later. Right, Juan, you got that going on? Yep, we got it. So the so sort of the game plan is this is streaming live to Instagram, to Rob's personal Facebook page, to his business Facebook page, to his, his YouTube account. And all of the comments that you leave, we're seeing them on Instagram. We're seeing them on Facebook. One of the great things about going live is it gives you a cool chance to be able to interact with Rob, ask Rob questions. Um, you know, as 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 in Larry's saying here, yo, Rob, your drumming comrade from Benatar Tribute. Oh, there. hey. And Boogie Mar Michaels here, right? Like, What's up, Larry? Yeah, All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Larry, you're not going to believe this. I double drummed with Myron Grombacher, all the Benatar hits, all those songs from the 80s that I grew up playing and loving and... Uh, I had this really great experience getting to know Myron Grombacher. He and I double drummed in Greg Bissonnette's studio to all the big Benatar hits. So much fun. Anyway, there's a little clip of it on my YouTube uh, uh, or on my Facebook. You got to check it out, Larry. Pretty fun. I love it. So we're all going to be here for Rob's crazy stories because we all want to hear them because they're just too damn interesting and entertaining. 
Um, there will be some art and some photography for sale. Uh, there is a web page that is linked in the bio on Instagram. There is a web page that is linked to if you're watching on Facebook or if you're watching on YouTube. You can click that if you actually do want to purchase some of the art. Uh, he's going to be talking about the pieces, telling stories, and you know, talking to old friends, talking a little bit of trash. You're wearing, you're wearing, you're wearing the uh, uh, trademark Rob Shanahan Ray bands. Oh, this is my uniform. Yeah, oh, I love it. I love you guys it. want to see my eyes? There they are. But I'm wearing these. The light is yeah. so bright. Yeah. So you can you can get kicked off. Just go starting. And again, anyone that wants to leave a comment or ask Rob a question or say what's up, we will be highlighting the comments throughout the thing and and just sort of going along. And yeah, I mean, more than anything else, you've already sold half the show. So we're really just here for some great stories from you and having some fun. We're here for the fun, not the sale. Although yeah. nice to sell stuff. If you guys want to buy something, just let me know or buy whatever's left on the, on the art sale web page. Hey. Uh, but I think for the most part, we're just going to have some fun, share Absolutely. some stuff. I'm Absolutely. Show you guys some stuff that, like I said before, for all of you just joining, some of you are coming in late, I see. For all and, of you just joining, the fun part about doing this live in my office, at home, in my studio, I'm going to show you stuff that never leaves, personal collection stuff that I won't bring to a gallery show, I don't bring it to my keynote events, uh, like this. Here's number one. Oh. Look at that snare drum. You guys recognize it? How about this? This is a signed snare drum, custom, two only two in existence. This is the number two. Alex has one. I got the other one right here, signed by Alex. A Van Halen snare drum. What do you say? Amazing. Do I have your attention now? <laughs> I Rob have this. The only reason I have it, it's not. I'm not keeping it. Let me tell you. So my good pals at DW Drums uh, made this. Uh, actually, um, uh, a good friend of mine, John, uh, the greatest artist, John Douglas, created this drum for Alex. And I have it here because I did this. Off camera for a second. Look at this cool print. Wow. I made these for... Uh, the auction for the snare drum, we're auctioning this off for charity for cancer. You know, we lost Eddie to cancer, and uh, I lost my mom to cancer. Here's my mom, by the way. Say hello to Rachel. What's up, Rachel? My beautiful mommy, who uh, would have been 75 last week, she passed away 10 years ago. So, anyway, I'm doing this for uh, charity for cancer, and I created this really beautiful metal print. Look at that ready to hang on your wall, but a nice high gloss metal print of the Alex Van Halen snare and a pair of his drumsticks. But we'll talk about that later, what I'm gonna do with that for the sale. It's not part of the big sale today. Just thought I would share the snare drum with you. And, and, and before you kick kick off, just because I know you and I, and, and I love the roots, we have one of your Minnesota faithful here. And if you look in the back of his office, you can tell what a man loves based on what's in his office. And you gotta see what's sitting there, right? Oh, this? Oh, come on. Come on. You got to show it. Check it out, folks. This is an actual NFL player's helmet, complete with the air pump hole. You, know, you put the helmet on and that pump it full of air. He's filling with air. This is an actual NFL uh, edition helmet that I got from my neighbor's college roommate. He works for Riddell. And I met him at a 4th of July party, and I gave him my book. And he's like, dude. What team are you? You gotta uh, let me send you a helmet. So, a couple months later, this came in the mail. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, and you have a and you got and you have a, a guy from Minnesota. It says Minnesota rock scene here. Love the Shaw band picture, Jeff Healy. So, <laughs> yes, just in case you were doubting his Minnesota bona fides, he doesn't. He doesn't. He, he you could take him out of Minnesota. He might be in Venice, but he's still got his roots. Well, listen, my whole career started in Minnesota. Ten years old. You guys from Minnesota watching, by the way. Hello, everyone. I want to give a shout out to my family. I know my brother TJ is watching. So uh, TJ and I, uh, drummers, grew up together, shared a bedroom drum kit in our house. And, you know, 10 years old, I started drumming. And then, check this out, when I was 13, my mom went and bought this camera for my dad for Christmas. What kind of camera is that? It's a Pentax ME with a 51.4 lens. My yeah. dad never figured it out, so... I did. I took it upon myself 
to learn how to use the camera. And by the time I was a teenager, I was developing film in the bathroom. Uh, and then when I went to Minnesota State University, I was taking classes there and I was renting darkroom space and printing. And anyway, that was where my love of photography started, Minnesota. So, of course, you know, it's part of who I am. DNA, baby. All right, so we'll we'll keep pulling these these funny stories in, and you have, you have a bunch of requests for various different stories and everything else. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say I was gonna say a lot of people saying hello on Instagram, and a, a couple of good questions. Yeah, that's one, happening. one of them is uh, what what was one of your favorite concerts you've ever got to go? Good so question. Eh? <laughs> it's like asking who's your favorite child. I get that question a lot. What's your favorite photograph? Well. I have five that I really love. There's, you know, my top five. But favorite concert? All right. That brings up another piece of memorabilia. Probably these guys. Here's some Rolling Stones set list with my working pass. See wow. those cool passes? Nice. Yeah. So these are cool. from uh, 2019. I went and did a string of dates with the, with the band. And it's just so much fun. You can't believe it. Uh, Rolling Stones, great, great live. I'm so glad they announced their tour dates uh, for this fall. And also, go, go get your tickets if you haven't bought your tickets already. Second cool question is: Will you be on the road soon with any bands? Yeah, I, I already marked all the Stones dates in my calendar. I'm gonna try and hit as many as I can. Uh, hopefully, I get to see them multiple cities. I already plan on going back to Minneapolis to see them at the U.S. Uh, Bank Stadium where the Vikings play. Uh, I think that'd be very, very cool to see them there. They're playing here in LA at the new SoFi Stadium. Uh, they're in Vegas. Just so happens that my band is in Vegas like two days before the Stone show. So I'll be there. So see them there. I don't know. I'm just cool. excited to see them as much as I can. Also, Aerosmith. I had a really great time with those guys. They're really, really cool. And I got something else to show you. Speaking of Aerosmith. Oh, yeah. I've seen that. This is an Aerosmith snare drum shell. This came out of the DW factory. They started working on it, and for some reason, it uh, wasn't up to spec. So they started over, and I ended up with this one. My plan was to drill it out, put some lugs and some uh, some heads and, and rims on and get all the hardware going. But kind of cool. This is a raw shell. It still has the masking tape on the inside. Or drill it out and make a lamp shit out of it. I mean, that thing's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it, it could be something cool. It's just cool to have in my office. It usually sits up on the shelf over there, but I pulled it down for you. All right, Rob. So I think you should get ready to start it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick screen share and just show oh. Rob's page here. And again, yeah. apologies that a lot of this stuff is sold already. Obviously, <laughs> don't apologize. I don't, think, I don't think he was accounting for that, but this is going to be the whole show the, the the link is either in the bio or the facebook post or the youtube post and you can see the the page is set up such that if somebody buys it the sold goes on there so you know it's gone so as things are rolling along if you want it uh you can grab it and a lot of these are just pieces that he's had sort of laying around his excess inventory or yeah various different situations from here or there or everywhere i'm just kind of showing the page and it's set up to like make it mega easy to buy. All you have to do is click buy now and then there's like a little drawer and you can do Google Pay or whatever. There's like instant checkout. So all of it's very easy, very set up to go. Uh, that's part of it. And I think you can you can go ahead and get started, Rob, and then we'll just see where it goes from there. I thought we already started. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did. Will you fix one? I just, yeah, thank you. Okay, well, Patrick mentioned, uh, you know, stuff just laying around my office or whatever. So here's the deal. Before COVID, I had a traveling gallery show. I did New York a couple times, uh, Florida a couple times, Sarasota, Fort Lauderdale. Oh, uh, by the way, I owe my peeps in Florida. I love you guys. Uh, Dallas, we did um, uh, Seattle, we did Vegas. We, you know, a bunch of traveling shows, which I love doing. So we ship product around and it gets set up tore down repackage reship so some of the items get a little ding i'm talking very very small little dings and that's really uh part of the sale some of these have little scratches or whatever so that's hence the reduced price uh but like i said in my description on the on the uh on the website you know you probably won't want to reframe them because it's so minor but 
I just can't sell them as new. So hence the great discount for you. Uh, I decided that I'm, I will be reframing one and I'll let you know which one after further inspection, I noticed it got a little more dinged up than I thought. And some of the, the flat prints, the unframed prints were either proof prints, uh, testing uh, the printers out, trying to calibrate my monitor the, to the printer, check, uh, testing different papers, excuse me. So uh, we're just selling those as artist proofs. And uh, as mentioned, it's your chance to get some, some good deals and some images. I know one guy already picked up three of them and I was really happy that he picked up the three that he did. And we'll talk about that when we get to them, but such a great little three photo collection. What a great way to start on uh, getting these unframed uh, test proofs at a discounted price. So why don't we start, shall we? And you'll That's see right. All right, number one, Billy Squire. And only fitting that Billy is number one because in high school, Billy had number one hits, rocking on my stereo, and I'm a big fan. And it was one of the joys of my life to get to know Billy. I did two tours with him on the Ringo and the All-Star tours. So I had a couple of great summers with Billy. He turned out to be a really good friend. He played my book launch party in New York at the John Barbados store in East Hampton. Uh, we packed the joint. The line was around the block, and the cops came and shut us down. So it was a perfect rock and roll moment. I love Billy. I see him every time I'm in New York. Whenever he comes to L.A., we get together. He's come to play with my band, sat in and did five songs with my band. It was so much fun. So oh, great. Rad. Rocking with Billy Squire. Anyway, this is uh, a 20 by 24 hand signed black and white print. 21 by 26, apparently. 21 by 26. Yeah. Thank you. It's ready hand, for your wall. Hand signed, hand signed matted wood frame with pair specs. I don't even know what, what a deal. Is. Yeah, what we do is we don't ship with glass. If you can see in the light reflection, it's a little, uh, it's as clear as glass, just won't shatter and scratch your print. So we ship everything with Perspex. You'll love it. It's nice and clear. And you shot Wonder this, you too. shot this in a basement in New York City, you said? In New York City, in Billy's basement. He lives on the Upper East Side next to the Dakota building. And uh, we're shooting in the house, in the apartment, up on the roof, and we ended up down in the basement. I just love this photo. It's cool. Yeah, you too. Plant, Daniel Fender, storage. Fender, Fender Strat. Fender Strat, yeah? Fender Strat. But let me tell you, Billy has one of the coolest Les Paul gold top collections you've ever seen. He's got a nice selection. Very cool. All right, moving on. What's number two? Eddie? Eddie, yep. Uh, boom. All right, you guys are familiar with the photo, right? This one's hand signed again, 21 by 26. This one is all time. How you got this photo? I'm all gonna... right, Eddie Van Halen, 2005. One of my top five favorite photos. I love it. Do you guys love it? No one, no one, no one normally gets access like this. Like the fact that you were on the stage close enough to make that shot is is staggering to begin with, and then the fact you captured him in like one of the that guy is just crushing right now. Well, here's the mind blowing part. Ask anyone from Minnesota, ask my family. Van Halen was the band for me in high school. I loved them so much. Uh, had them cranked all the time. Uh, I used to drum to their songs all the time. And then when I got the call to go shoot Van Halen, I was thrilled. It was so much fun. And I met the band at Soundcheck. Couldn't have been any cooler. Uh, Alex Van Halen and I shared the same birthday. So that was something fun to talk about. And we would talk on our birthdays for a long time after. Uh, Michael Anthony and Sammy, total freaking brothers, totally cool. I've done a lot of work with those guys since. Uh, anyway, after sound check, Eddie uh, or Alex came over and said, "Man, I talked to the band. We want you on stage during the show. Just do your thing. Uh, go wherever you want to go." And uh, that's all I needed to hear. So, first song was "Jump." Come on, 1984 when that song came out. Blue yeah. So, show. Side, side note, one next show we've got to play the we got to play the music to just. Oh yeah, we got to play the music. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All, All right, music. we'll do, we'll do. So first song, jump. I'm on the drum riser with Alex right here, uh, just past his 18 inch floor tom, and when that song came on. I'm telling you, every cell in my body exploded. Uh, 
you know, it's got that great keyboard intro and that Alex on the drums just freaking nails it and locks it in. And Alex looked over at me and had this huge smile on his face. He knew he was blowing my mind. Uh, it was so great. Anyway, uh, fifth song on the set list was Alex's drum solo. So I went down, got right in front of his drum riser to get a shot of him doing the drum solo. And at the end, he stands up and does his stick thing. And after that, I walk over to uh, his hi-hat side, which would be stage left side of his drum riser. And there was Eddie uh, just getting ready to get out to the center stage. And uh, we passed each other. I walked towards Eddie's stack of marshals as he walked by me. And uh, I just had a feeling he was going to do something ultra cool. And sure enough, he goes up to the center stage, gets down on one knee, salutes brother Alex. And, you know, think about photography. It's all about being in the right place at the right time, knowing your gear. Uh, I just instinctively knew what settings to get my camera going on. And man, it's one of those moments. It's one of your greats. And this took one two frames, two frames, boom, boom, because it was so fast. He got down and up in literally less than a second and a half. And I just knew if one of those was locked tight, focus, exposure, I knew it was going to be around a well. And I got back to my hotel room that night and uploaded the images. And when I saw this, it just freaking blew my mind. And this one is hand signed matted wood frame. Hand signed. And it, this was live yeah. on stage with Van Halen in Boise, Idaho. In Boise, Idaho. In 2000. Yeah, going up to Boise to shoot those guys was a thrill, man. So much fun. And just one of the ultimate rock and roll bands. Man, I had so much fun. And uh, this one is one of my top fives. So if you want one, there you go. Amazing. And what do we got next? Number three, Elephant. Elephants. Okay. My other love, shooting elephants with a camera, not a gun. Went to Africa well um, the year before last with Hillary, and I'm telling you, it was the time of our life. I had no idea how much fun it was going to be on safari, shooting animals. Let's take this out of the plastic so you can see it a little better. I would put on my gloves, but these metal prints have a nice coating on them, so they're nice and durable and nice and safe. You kind of have a heart for Africa. You should talk about that a little bit. So, you know, before we went to Africa, uh, I asked uh, asked uh, other friends that had gone, talked to other people, did a lot of research. And one thing that was kind of the dominant uh, statement from everyone says, Africa is going to change your life. Uh, and I kind of thought, well, yeah, okay, I do a lot of cool things. How cool could it be in Africa? But they were right. It was totally mind blowing just seeing the animals in the wild, uh, you know, mama elephants or baby elephants and seeing the leopards, you know, we track leopards and, and watch them, you know, go out and hunt and, you know, the blood, it's just a circle of life. And all the guides were amazing, just really cool. And they taught us all about, you know, everything from the microbes in the elephant dung all the way to the elephants. It's all one big circle of life. Like they say in the in the Lion King, circle of life, it's true. And uh, it's, it's a fragile ecosystem. And you throw one thing out of whack and the whole thing goes out of balance. So, you know, the Africans are just doing what they can and, and, and keeping that country and the animals and everything just as vital as it is. And it was really cool to see. I had a really great experience. Everyone was so nice. The food was great. And we stayed at some amazing lodges, met some really great friends. And uh, I it's sound amazing. like an African it's amazing. Trigger. It's amazing framing on that piece. Oh, and I got this. Cool. Check this out. This is a zebra tooth. In the office. I love it. A real zebra <laughs> tooth. Yeah, there's a whole skeleton of zebra there. And I went and pulled out a tooth and threw it in my pocket. And, you know, we did game, uh, a gay, uh, day game walks. And during the morning and the afternoon, you do the safaris and jump in the uh, trucks with the open canopy. And we'd go out and shoot. And, man, 10 feet from some serious lions. Literally, I was 10 feet from pride of lions. There's eight, 10 lions right here. 
And so this one, this one too, I should say, is a 12 by 12 open to <laughs> Yeah, let's get onto the elephant print. 12 by 12. No. On Safari in Kruger National Park, South Africa, and you're selling this one for 85 bucks. And I, I, I should also say too, because people are asking about prints. Look at the um, smile on that elephant. How fun, right? There wow. is, there is, there is Tova. There's a, there's a link in where you're watching this on Facebook where you can get to the actual show. Um, I know people, the, the way these live art shows work, it's totally new medium and like a new way to like, you know, have a window into Rob's office and talk to Rob. And so it's totally awesome in that sense. But we also totally have no idea what we're doing. So we're sort of just making <laughs> things up as we go along. And that's Patrick, part of You're it. absolutely right. It's no, no, that, 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 that's kind of part of the fun of it. So Tova, and I'm going to say this to you and Toby, I'm seeing your questions too. Trust me, we're, 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 we're rolling as we long. T Toby was asking about posters and everything else. Here's what I would say. And I, 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 do this for a living a lot of people run art shows and a lot of people run art shows and don't sell anything rob sells everything the whole time what i would say though is that there is a link in the bio everywhere that's in instagram if you're watching there it's on facebook it's on youtube you can click that you can buy anything that's in the show these are additional pieces that rob has in his store and he's had in his inventory and so they're like significantly uh, uh discounted that being said as you can see, he's one of the most like approachable human beings in the in, on the world. So if something sold, or if you want to get a print, just send him an email. Let me send, know. Send him an email, send me or, an email. Or, or or send him a, like a Facebook message or thing. Like, you know, he'll 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 get back to you. He'll get back to you. So okay, let's keep rolling. Roll it. What's next? What's number? What are we on? Three. Juan, what are we on? Number four, elephant with babies, which is elephant a sold, with babies. It's this a sold, one's sold sold piece. Yeah. This one sold to Steve Waxman, Cincinnati, Ohio. Steve, I'm your Waxman. Here you go. Thanks for buying, Steve. Okay, so I found out something very interesting about this photo with the two babies. Uh, a good friend of mine, Kathy, said, hey, wait a minute. Elephants have a gestation period of 22 months. I looked it up. So either this mama had twins or she's babysitting. Irish elephants. <laughs> Irish elephants. Uh, food for thought. Did she have twins or is she babysitting? Look at that. I love this photo. Look at those little babies. So cute. All right. This one's sold, but as you, as you said earlier, it's available on the website. You can find it. All right. Moving on to Joe Walsh. Number you know, five. Yep. Sold piece also. Yeah, this one's sold. But on his, on his on Maserati, this right? This is a really cool story. All right. There's his Maserati that does 185. You all know the song, right? One of the greatest lyrics of all time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Joe's one of the greatest guitar players of all time. Lost my license. Now I can't drive. Yeah, that's exactly it. I've heard that song a million times. I played drums to it a million times as a kid. And uh, I called Joe to, to do a photo shoot with him for my book, Volume 1, which we'll talk about later. Uh, and as soon as I saw that car, I'm like, that's the shot. Get a Rickenbacker. He loves that red Rickenbacker. Check it out. So I shot this in his driveway with a pro photo light with a five foot Octobank on it with a grid. Uh, there you go. Signed. Where is it? There it is. On the no, other side. Phone. There you go. You got it. And signed. White mat, one inch wood frame. Ready to hang. Oh, wait, this one's sold. Andy O'Connor, New Jersey. This is going to New Jersey. I got a lot of stuff hanging on the East Coast, but it's fun. To I, 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 I want that one, by the way. I, I need to All talk right, I'll make you one. I, I love that lyric so much. My mom's right. It's so fun. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, very fun. Okay, here we go. Moving on. Number six, Luke Bryan. Luke Bryan. All right, this one is not sold. So now's your chance to get a Luke Bryan print. You guys know who this is? Tell great, us. great country artist, man! What a guy. Hand signed, Luke Bryan. What is that? 2014. So check this out. I went to Nashville to shoot him, and I get to his house, and uh, the stylist, the hair and makeup, you know, the whole deal. We had a, a big grand uh, Yamaha piano delivered to his house in the front room. He's sitting at the piano, with, you know, totally decked out in Armani, whatever. It just he didn't seem comfortable. And I noticed this old Chevy pickup out by the wood pile. So I'm like, Lou, tell me about the truck. He's like, that's my truck. I'm like, Let's go shoot in the truck. Go change. 
he ran upstairs in his bedroom, came back, and this this is Luke. This is who Luke is. Uh, the flannel and the hat. We jumped in his truck and took off down the country road, and uh, that's one of my photos. Love it. Very cool. This is way more Luke than whatever the stylist had him in. It was totally comfortable, and we had a good time, and he's a good guy, and it's a good print. Still available. What else? All Moving right. along. Any questions? Anyone need anything answered right now? Yeah, so on IG, we got a question about your your book. Would there be yeah. a volume two of your book? Yeah, check it out. So volume one, here we go. Just happen to have some right here. We'll talk about that now. So my first published, published collection, this came out in 2011, so 10 years old already. I can't believe how long, how fast 10 years goes by. Uh, it's sold, still selling, doing well. We're in our third reprint and we uh, totally blew my publisher's expectations away, which is great. And, you know, the results and the reviews have been tremendous, really great. 100% positive reviews. But anyway, I'll give you a quick little. Full of your favorite artists. If you, and every 32 pages I did this. Actually, this was Hillary's brilliant idea to do the little quote pages with the little thumbnails. We love it. Instead of waiting all the way at the end of the book, we did them every 32 pages. Look at that. Paul and Ringo, Greg Bissonette, just chock full of everyone. Nick Fleetwood. Amazing. Oh, there's Michael Anthony. That's what I said. You're going to, you're going to you realize, Hill. you realize this is like the epic coffee table yeah. Christmas gift. You're going to have to, you're going to have to do some sort of promotion. Oh, you guys wow. have to get the book. If you don't have the book, get the book. It's on my website. Uh, I'm telling you, it was one of the greatest things to do to finally get all my images out. Vic Mars from Motley Crue. Oh, yeah. Jeez, just goes on and on. You get the picture. No pun intended. <laughs> okay, we're going to go. Volume one. So, yeah, we've been working on two uh, the week after this came out. So I'm happy to say we're going to be on with volume two really, really soon. Stay tuned. You're going to love it. And you're not going to believe who wrote the forward. By the way, Ringo Starr wrote the uh, forward for volume one, which was. Oh, you're, cool. you're dragging now. You're dragging now. I love <laughs> I love yeah, it. to have Ringo write the forward was the ultimate. But number two, volume two, I got an extra special surprise. You're going to love it. By the way, I pulled this out of my cabinet uh, this morning. Look at this. This is the little mock-up. Of volume one all the little pages were uh, stuck in with uh, spray mount so we could peel them out and move them around when we were designing the book trying to figure out the order of the photos i oh, love this killer. thing it never leaves my office oh that's killer that's by what's going about by the way heidi out. is saying from crawford colorado joe cocker was our neighbor and she loved joe that. cocker oh, love, joe love, cocker. love joe cocker what a great and neighbor Anthony's Anthony's uh, tuning in from uh, Long Island. Anthony, New York. big hello to my pal Anthony, fellow drummer, uh, amazing oral surgeon, uh, one of my dear friends in New York. He lets me stay at his house when I'm there. He's got a basement. Yeah, in New York they have basements. I don't have a basement here, and in his basement he's got like four drum kits set up. Oh, so, amazing. That's where I want to go stay. What's up, Tony? What's up? We we got we on on the next one of these because you just have such a motley crew, pun intended. We got to yeah. start bringing people into the stream. It, it, we got to get Tony into the stream. He oh, can, there's no more there. than Anthony. I would love to get Anthony's words in here. He's always got fun, something funny to say on my Facebook. He's got the funniest comments. Oh, I love it. I love it. What? Oh, Mick Jagger was next, right? Yep. I got to put on the gloves. Oh, you're taking it serious now. The gloves are going on. Now we're getting real. Mick Jagger gets the gloves, and I'm not doing this for jazz hands, but I'll give you jazz hands. Oh, we love jazz hands. Fucking Mick Jagger. And for some reason, I have to say it like that. Mick oh, I don't blame you. Oh, wait, I don't have to open the tape. I'm just going to do this. All right, 2019. Out on the road with the Rolling Stones. Look oh, legend. Stones. Look at the detail on this thing. This is so freaking awesome. So uh, I brought my 400 2.8, which I pulled out for you. 
No one knows that a 400 2 is, so yeah. Right here. Boom. I used to use big, long lenses like this when I was shooting for the NFL, but I love using them in rock and roll, especially at the Stone Show because Nick has that big, long runway. So I plant at the end of the runway, and I step up on a little ladder, and I'm right over the, right on the top of this stage right here with my big, long lens, and I'm telling you, first three songs, Mick is like dancing and performing right for me, right? And I got like a million photos of him with his eyes locked on. Look at that. Oh, it's so crisp. Love it. So anyway, this is a uh, 16 by 24 art print with a white one inch border. These art prints are freaking gorgeous. This paper is amazing. And this was Phoenix, Arizona, 2019 show, right? This is, um, that's what it's, you say so. <laughs> it's on the site. Yeah, if I say so. And you're and you're selling this one for 140 bucks. Well, I did uh, East Coast, Jersey, two shows in Jersey at MetLife Stadium. Yeah, LA and then Phoenix. So yeah, this is probably this is Phoenix. Yeah, it's in the bio. It's in the listing. Phoenix, Arizona. Love it. Love it. I have it printed in metal right there. You want to see the metal print? Oh yeah, sure, for sure. Might as well. Hang tight. No, most people don't even know the differences between metal and canvas and acrylic. Well, now we're going to show them. Yeah. All right. Here it is on metal. Whoa. Yeah. The camera on these computers is kind of wonky. No, it, so you'd be surprised. It looks really, really good. Are you selling this one? I no. was trying to figure out what exposure to show it up. But anyway, this one's signed. Metal prints over here everything's in reverse that's why i'm always doing this no no it looks, this it looks, it looks perfect for us metal. look at that ready to hang wow i love these on metal very that's, cool well here cool. i have can you see behind me keith keith is on metal yeah here i have a canvas print of charlie that one's signed by charlie so I got canvas, I got metal in the office. I just love showing them on different mediums. This one's really. What do you what do you what do you love? What's your favorite? Just out of curiosity, you love metal, you love acrylic, you love canvas, you love paper. Like, what's your what's your number one go to? I love the metal in my office. It's cool. It's hip. It's it's looks really. Uh, I love wearing white gloves. I just realized. Uh, it seems very contemporary. The display is nice. It pops off the wall like no frame, wall. no frame needed, no frame. Yeah, but you know, I'm I'm a classic photography guy too. I love the frame stuff. The frame stuff to me is you know classic, classic gallery print. It's uh, never going to go old with the framing. I guess it all depends on what you're into. No, it's horse. It's horses for courses. So number seven was Mick Jagger. That 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 print was for 140 bucks. Yeah. You, you sold number eight. You sold number nine. You can show Neil Peart. You can show Paul McCartney if you like. Um, Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney's are gone. Somebody came and picked him up. Yeah, the Paul McCartney number two is still available. So probably just pivot to that one. Yeah, we're gonna we're, we're passing on those two. Those those got picked up, so I don't even have anything to show. And by the way, Darlene's asking, do you offer limited editions? Oh, we have something cool coming up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> I have a special just for you today. Limited okay, well, evidently, Darlene, you asked the right question because <laughs> there's question. there's gonna be something special. Okay, so wait, Rob, tell me. So, you you sold. Paul McCartney number two got sold too. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, one and both okay. of them, Paul McCartney's are gone. They got sold and they're okay. Gone. So the next one you actually have for sale is Quincy Jones. Quincy, I love Quincy Jones. Man, this is a classic black and white gallery print. Look at that. Wow, man, Quincy is so amazing. His where'd contribution you, to the music industry. This one's hand signed with a white mat. Where'd you, where'd you where'd you photograph this? Where'd you meet him? Was this in LA? <sighs> um yeah in la somewhere i can't remember it was at a theater we were doing rehearsals for a show you know what happens <laughs> so many shows they kind of bleed together but every image has a date stamp every image is in a folder with the location 
uh, all the details. I just don't have that off the top of my head. I love that I caught you not remembering, by the way. It makes me laugh. I can't remember things either. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the amazing thing is yeah. The cool thing about this, I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit so I can hear you, Patrick. The All cool good. thing about this is, uh, have you guys seen the Quincy Jones uh, documentary that came out? Like within the last year? It's really cool. No, it was recent. I got to see it. His son reached out and asked if they could use this photo in the doc and in the, some promos. And of course. He so said, it, it featured in the documentary? It's a doc documentary. Yeah, amazing. But I'm saying the, the photo was in the documentary. It was in the doc, yeah. Yeah, oh, heck yeah. So this one, this one's 21 by 26. Again, hand signed matted wood frame with the special knot rake glass pair specs. And you're selling this one for $240. 240 Regularly, I think they're like six. That size frame, ready to go. Love it. Yeah. So anyway, this was, as mentioned before, all the frame stuff was part of my traveling gallery show in 2019. So I got moved around a lot, got installed, uninstalled, boxed back up and shipped around. So slight little dings. If I see one, oh, I'll show you. I just want to, to add something here, guys. That's um, one. I had a comment on IG from JM Boutique wanted, wanted to buy the piece. Hold on. I'm losing which one it is. I think it was... Hold on, we just got a we just got a live sell. Oh, just awesome! Amazing. I think it was Ringo. No, it was not Ringo. But anyways, we got a we got a piece. We got a live sale. Yeah, piece. yeah, which is amazing. I by the way, figure out which one it is. Spoiler alert: I don't have white earrings in. These are my earbuds. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest with you, though, cousin. Between and, and I say cousin because his last name is the same as my last name. It doesn't happen normally. Between the uh, white ear pods and the white gloves, you might have to start pantomiming for us here. <laughs> Why don't I take them off? Hey, I'll it was off until we get into another. <laughs> it was number seven, Mick Jagger. It's just gone, which is amazing. Oh, Mick Jagger sold. Okay, yep. good. Yep. Good, good, good. That. Yep. I'll so wrap then... it back up and ship it to whoever bought it. Thank you. Where's it going? We'll find out. We'll find out. So the next, I think the next one that you actually have available to show is Ringo Paul hugging one. Oh, yeah, that's okay. number seventeen. Number seventeen. Yeah. Wait, Wanna do the same there? We'll see. Are you sure it's not Neil Peart? No, that's gone. All those are gone. Number seventeen. Oh, all the oh, these are gone. So yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You don't yeah. want me to show them. Bean, show we have like twenty more to go. Yeah. I think I think you, we keep rolling. All right, I that's that's look. that's the fun of the live art show. Like, you know, you contemplate this, Robin. Like, okay, your art's in a gallery, and okay, your art's on a website. How often do people actually get to talk to you and leave comments and see you actually talking about it and intimately in, in inviting people into your office and showing all your memorabilia? It's just super interesting. I just this I is I just totally work. unique. This is yeah. unlike any gallery show I've ever done, unlike any keynote speaking engagement I've ever done. First of all, when I do my keynotes, I'm on stage with, you know, hundreds, maybe a thousand yeah. people in a ballroom with a live slideshow, you know, talking about the images, the stories, blah, blah, blah. But this is totally unique, totally different. Sharing, this is so uh, loose and I, I, I like it. It's, it's the beauty fun. of it. And by the I way, way in it. You're, yeah, exactly winging it, and you're a real human being. And I should note, just to, because the nature of live shows is like people come and, and then pop in, pop out. If you have a question for Rob about anything, you can ask. You can ask. Yes. Okay. This, ask. this is Ringo and Paul hugging one. Look at that. All right, so here's the deal. I made this for this guy right here, my good pal, Greg Bissonette. Uh, we love Greg, and... You know, this night was, all right, I'll give you the backstory of this event. This was uh, Ringo's birthday, 2010, New York City, Radio City Music Hall. Paul surprised Ringo and showed up. I knew he was coming. The band knew he was coming. We had a two o'clock sound check with Paul, but Ringo did not know. So at the end of the show, Ringo came out. I had a birthday cake for him. He cut the cake. Everyone sang happy birthday, and he started walking off stage right. On stage left walks Paul with his Hoffner bass, and the crowd went wild. It was nuts. 
and uh, they jumped into Happy Birthday, you know, the birthday song. And right after Ringo came down and they did this hug and a bow and it was really, really sweet. Anyway, I got like 50 photos of the hug and the bow. This is one of them. Never before released. Rob Megan's asking you, how close were you when you were taking that photo? Like I was up. right in front of front row, right in the pit. So probably 10 feet. 10 feet. Wow. Love it. All right. So here's another one from that series. And this one sold, I believe. Yes. Yep. Yeah. We're, we're, we're trying to update in real time which ones have sold. Here's another one. This so one's right, got, turning this, a little bit. You this one's gone already. Right, right. But look how sharp these are. These are really beautiful, really colorful. I love it. It was a fun night, a lot of fun. All right, this one sold to Steve Waxman. Steve, I'm your Waxman. By the way, me. by the way, just because we have to say this, because Rob's last name is Shanahan, my last name is Shanahan. TJ Shanahan has chimed in. Oh, it's my brother. On your row. Hello, my brother. Okay, well now there's three of us. I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> there are three Shanahans, probably more online right now all right there what's the next so we don't run out of time number 20 well, steven tyler no oh. no but if you have number 19 can oh you yeah just please show number 19 because yeah, it's an epic video. photo yeah I, I don't team? care i don't care if it's sold what's it's, that team it's the rolling stones it's the the multiple lights up top the color all three oh, that's one. yeah you have yeah. to just show this all right nobody gets a photo like this normally all right, I know well, I know it's sold, but honestly, I'll tell you the backstory. You know, the key was I wanted to get all four main Rolling Stones in one photo. Oh come on, look at this! Jesus Christ! So there you one, go. One, don't swear. Little leg, <laughs> kick, little leg kick from from Keith, Charlie. You can see just peeking out from the guitar neck. But all four. Your framing is epic on this photo, but also this is just like a moment in time where they're all wearing those colors is phenomenal. And I and, and I, I know it's sold. Do you do you do you sell that as an open edition on your site or no? Yeah. Will you hold it up again? It's on the it's on the site as an open edition. That's awesome. Frame, I mean, it's one of the best Rolling Stone photos you'll ever see. Signed right here. Oh, I'm screwed up by the camera. Everything's in reverse, but anyway, signed. This is a fine art, 100 percent cotton uh gallery print of a one inch border love it kind of love that this paper is super deluxe double weight really great and this one went to mark soholt in alamo north dakota oh yeah way to Get go mark, mark dakota so we got art going everywhere all right mark. what was the next oh we're, go we're going aerosmith we're going aerosmith yeah, steven right. tyler steven tyler there you go wait before Number we do, 20. I'll show you this one. This one was sold to Dave Gasborough in Florida. Hi, Dave. Dave is one of my newest all-time collectors. Been collecting some big metal stuff. Dave, here you go. Uh, he wanted me to tell the story about this one, so check it out. This is Ringo in the hallway at the Beverly Hills Hotel. God, I love that hotel. We were uh, waiting in a room for David Wilde, the writer from Rolling Stone magazine, and he was late. So I'm like, Ringo, let's go in the hallway. I got an idea. So I went and shot him out in the hallway. Available light. It's kind of cool, right? The green, I love it. Palm, the green palm trees in the disco of that hotel is just so sick. I love that. Very cool. Anyway, this one goes to Dave Gasboro in Florida. Thank you, Dave. Nice addition to your collection. Oh, Aerosmith. We'll talk about Aerosmith now. Look at that. One, we have to get the music playing. There when you go. Yes, you. I need to remod right, right now. I want to hear Steven Tyler screaming. 2013. <laughs> uh, I forget where this was. I went out and did a few shows with those guys. I bet he was a screaming, Dream on! Right there, right? <laughs> uh, it could have been anything. He screamed a lot. But let me tell you, Aerosmith was so much fun. And again, at Soundcheck, Steven's like, Rob, do your thing, man. Go over where you want on stage. I don't care. So, and for Rob context, this was Kansas City, Missouri, 2000. Kansas City, yeah, yeah. So, being on stage with Aerosmith all over the place was so much fun. At one point, uh, I'm on stage left, kind of in front of Joe Perry's microphone, shooting the band back from the front left corner, 
And Steven walks over and he starts singing right into my camera lens. Wow. And then he gets a little closer and then he decides my lens needed cleaning. So he went, oh, took his scarf and he cleaned my lens. <laughs> so much. Oh. How, how long did you follow Aerosmith? Uh, I think I did like four or five dates with them on a little leg through the Midwest. And then we ended up in Vegas. And then I went back a year later and did some more Vegas shows. So kind of off and on for a little bit. All right, we're switching gears now. We're going to Toto. Toto. How about this? One of the great all-time bands out of Los Angeles, Toto. Although some of these guys aren't the original dudes, but Toto, 35th anniversary. They called me to uh, do the record cover, do the tour book, uh, do all the photos. Really great. All the marketing photos, really fun. I know these guys individually. I've been working with a lot of them through the years, but I shut down the street so I could get the Hollywood sign in the background. See it? Yeah, what's what street in Hollywood was this? I mean, I was like, oh, I don't remember, but it was not far from Ocean Way Studios, like a little side street, Las Palmas. That's a hell of a photo with the sign in the background. Yeah, with the Hollywood sign. So I just got them out in the street. We shut down traffic for a little bit, started firing away. A lot of fun. Really so great. That, one, that one's a 21 by 26 hand, hand side matted wood frame again, you know, with the first X. And wow. It's two hundred and forty dollars out. Ready for your wall, and it's got a little thing on the back with all the info and data. Again, part of my traveling twenty nineteen show, and no damage I see. Oh yeah, little stuff like that. You can barely see it, right? Yeah. Well, that's all right. All of these prices are way cheaper than when you charge normal. Yeah, everything's like. 40 to 60 percent off and uh you know i have to tell everyone patrick you called me and said man let's do a show let's do something live let's get you got any stuff lying around i thought actually yeah i could probably get rid of some of this stuff these sit in boxes out in storage and uh, i i never was going to sell them as new so what a perfect time to start liquidating to get rid of some stuff you and under, I understand i do it selfishly too because you somehow for whatever reason it might be the long hair it might be the minnesota the tattoo the fact you played drums the gold chain the glasses you've had access to some of the greatest music of all time which is not a normal thing um it's you know, not normal no, my you know, life is you, not you, been you, normal, you, but so I can't insane, imagine it being any other way. So insanely blessed, and I want to hear the stories as much as anyone else does. Like, yeah, I want you to sell art and do well, but I just, I don't know. You, you, you've had some incredible access and seen some incredible things, and I just, I love hearing about it. Well, it's been just a dream come true getting to know the great artists of our time, all the great musicians that we all know and love, and. It's just beyond description how much fun it is to go out and spend time with, you know, Charlie Watts backstage or, you know, I've been to Stones rehearsals or, you know, Soundcheck with Aerosmith or whatever. I mean, there's just so many different stories or hanging with Ringo and Paul. I mean, it's, it's really been, you know what it is? It's a young kid with a dream and a burning desire and the will to never quit. I never gave up. I've been working hard my whole life. And, uh, you know, you just follow your heart and soul and do the right thing. And hopefully the magic happens and you put out good work. And I've been studying photography and music my whole life. So it just made sense to do this. And we have to, we have to do a separate session on that. And I mean, look, I know you do keynotes and everybody sponsors you and constantly wants you to do the keynotes and everything else. But it's so hard to get the level of access that Rob has had to these musicians. And what do I mean by that? Maybe one out of 10,000 gets that level of access. If you ask, if you put a post on Craigslist and said, I need someone to shoot a rock photography show that I'm having this weekend, you would get 150,000 different responses. The fact that he's gotten to this level, like, I feel like you need to do a course on aspiring rock photographers. Oh, like, I do. Like, how do I get this level of access? And like, how do I, how do I like bond with the bands? And it's, you know, it's partially your photography, but it's also your personality. And it's everything. Like human. It's and the whole thing. Everyone wants to know how you're getting away with this. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people fool. No, you know what it is? It's being who you are, uh, 
Tommy Lee said it best once. He told me, be yourself. Everyone else is taken. And that's like the best advice. Wow, you question. gotta be true to who you are and what you know and what you love. And you know, I just been doing this so long. It's just I can't imagine doing anything else. And you put your heart and soul into stuff and you work hard. All right. So as you mentioned, you know, I talk about stuff like this in my keynotes. One thing I talk about is I've always believed in the power of positive thinking. There's also another saying that Oprah mentions, and I have it on my computer, on my heart, on my desktop. It's when opportunity and preparation meet. You have to be prepared. And I've been preparing my whole life for this. When opportunities come, I'm ready to go. And also, and I don't want to turn this into an AA meeting or anything, and I invited everyone to come with a cocktail, but I stopped that a long time ago. And it's funny because, you know, my friends and family in Minnesota who know me, I was complete animal. That's why I had to move away. I had to move away to find out who I was and who I am is this guy. I'm the guy who gets to go have this great life because I did the hard work, but also because I work out like a mofo. Uh, I don't drink, no drugs. I'm totally 100% vegan and I treat my body like a temple and no garbage in, no garbage out. That's it. I love I just, that. You know, 25 years of of not poisoning my body. You know, I had fun. I'm from Minnesota. I know how to drink like the best of them. And, you know, it can get crazy. And it, it can ruin a life. It can, you know, it, it could be the end all. And I didn't want anything to interfere with my dreams and what I wanted to do. So I just made sure I was the best who I can be in every situation. You know, when you're out working with... The A-list artists, you know, you got to be on top of the game and um, no time for mess ups. Anyway, enough of that lecture. Enough here. of that lecture. But th th this is the fun, right? Because everybody call and Ringo here, but it's framed. The others were unframed. I have two. Everybody knows you're talented, but we want to know what what makes a clock tick, right? Like uh, that's a fun that's a fun part of the art show. But okay, keep going. We have a couple more pieces left. And in all right, the Paul and Ringo. What well, actually? I think I showed you that one. Juan, you had something to say? Was there something else? The same as the other ones, except these are framed. And I didn't want to get too deep into the, you know, the whole not drinking and the health thing. But, you know, these are just personal choices that work for me. That's what everyone wants to get into, though. Like, everyone thinks the, 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 the brand of the photographer, the shooting, is just the images. We don't want to know about just the images. We want to know what makes you tick. Like, there's a lot of people on here that are trying to understand, like, how are you getting how are you getting these relationships how are you getting behind stage how have you done this consistently with not just one band but like 25 different bands yeah and, it, and it, it, it there's a code there right and it, it all goes into your imagery and I, I don't want to buy an image from someone that just took a great photo there's a million different rock photographers you got stories too right like this look I, more... you know he heidi is saying here thank you for sharing all that with us no one ever bleeds okay no one ever bleeds in these things no one's ever believe. real it's not normal it's not normal to believe yeah ask anyone from my high school how hard i work at playing drums i i i practiced almost every day i couldn't wait to run home from school and practice i went to the we had stage band in the morning and drum line and uh third period band i just was so in love with music and i couldn't get enough i played my ass off and same with photography i worked my butt off just learning skill and perfecting my craft and creating my own voice with a camera and that was important to me is I don't want to shoot like everyone else I wanted to do my own thing so one of the best compliments I get from my work is everyone looks so comfortable in front of you in the camera here's a good example and we didn't show this earlier because we went past it but this is probably the best example look at this photo y'all familiar with this photo of Paul and Joe and Keith and Ringo it's still in the plastic, but you get the point. Look how happy and comfortable they are with me and my camera. That's to me is the ultimate being able to, you know, work with the biggies and that's your secret sauce. Just, you know, just blending in, just having fun with them and uh, creating moments. Full, full, full disclosure though, we should say, and, and this, yes. is the, this, this is the fun thing about, about telling the stories and, and thank you, Lori. I appreciate you. Lori's like, I love Rob's story. He's always so inspiring. I, I, Lori Morris said, that's Tongue Lady. I know Tongue Lady. Oh, yeah. She's Tongue Lady for sure. 
but the larger point is that we should say which is like sort of a disclaimer is you're a fantastic musician so you speak all these rock stars language to begin with yeah that, was important. that, that doesn't yeah. explain how you're getting the images that you are and to your point getting people that are very uncomfortable with having photos taken of them very very comfortable and i think that's part of your secret sauce more than the ray-bans and it, it, you know i think if i was your collector which by the way i am because my father-in-law my father-in-law just full disclaimer is so die-hard rolling stones that mm. i'm married to his second daughter his first daughter is named jade awesome. jade jameson so that's that's how much he loves the rolling stones anyway the point i'm making you you have a unique knack that gets you into these situations that is not normal and you've had that for your entire career and yeah. i do think it's an important narrative it's an important part of the narrative of who you are as an artist and we do need to expand upon it that being said how many live shows have you run prior to this one? Oh, you mean like this in my office yeah i'll answer for you none <laughs> this is this, this, <laughs> this is the first one for anyone that's watching that's like been a fan of rob juan and i get to work with rob but part of, like and, and so we're on the clock technically we're getting paid for this but at the same time we just wanted to do this to get the stories out of him not many okay, you guys want some stories you want to hear some good ones not many live a life like you do go give us one hang on this is going to blow your freaking mind all right so i'm in nashville years ago and i'm at an elvis tribute show Half of Elvis's touring band was put on a show and had another guy singing. And uh, Paul Lyme was the drummer for the show. He's a great friend of mine and an amazing drummer. He's played on a zillion country hits that you all know and love. Great studio drummer. Anyway, he was the house drummer that night. And for the show, I was hanging with him and he asked me, have you ever met DJ Fontana? Elvis's original drummer from the 50s. I'm like, no. He's like, come on introduced me to DJ and his wife, Karen, such lovely folks. And uh, I, you know, this is how I do my thing. I'm like, DJ, I can't believe it. I'm such a fan. You were the, you know, the drum track of my youth. My parents had all your records and blah, blah, blah. Such a nice, lovely guy. And I happened to be in uh, Nashville for like another week. And I invited myself over to his house. I'm like, hey, can I come over? Let's do a photo shoot while I'm in town. He, uh, said you want to do it with the kit the kit i'm like oh my god yeah the original uh 1950s round badge gretsch copper sparkle drum kit so the next day i'm here at dj fontana's house let me see if i can show you this without the reflection there's dj and on the photos behind him is one on this side <laughs> no this side is Elvis sitting at this kit, and this one Whoa. on this side is them in the studio with this kit. And you can see that original calf head. It's like the DNA thumbprint of that drum kit. Anyway, uh, so I did a whole series of photos with him, and then I went back to see him like four or five months later, and I brought a stack of these photos. Well, not a stack. I brought like five of these photos, one of my favorite from the shoot. And I had him sign one to me, and he gave me a pair of sign sticks. No way. They're sticks. Oh, on my. You're, you're you're not selling this this is on oh, your no, no 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 this is my private stock but here's the cool <laughs> thing the night after uh, the night of this shoot i emailed some of these photos to charlie's drum tech don mccauley hi don i know you're watching i sent him photos i'm like you're not going to believe where i was today he's like oh my god so great i'm sending them to charlie charlie ended up buying this drum kit charlie watts from the rolling stones has an awesome drum kit collection a uh, bunch of cool stuff. Anyway, so Charlie now has this kit. So I went back six months later. I had DJ sign one for me, and I got these sticks. And I had DJ sign one to Charlie. Dear Charlie, much love, DJ. And last, uh, no, not last year, 2019, when I was out on the tour with Stones, I brought that photo with me and gave it to Charlie. It was so freaking awesome. Oh, my God. I love stuff like that. To me... That's why I'm doing this. All right, did that blow your mind? Yes, it did. And you got to give a shout out to Sue. Sue's like right on, Rob. Sue, I mean, proof that anything is possible and sobriety really works. Yes, yes. 
All right. Um, what else? Time for uh, oh, the big unique unveil. pieces. Yep. Oh, yeah, we think time for the unveil. The unveil. All right. Why, why, wait, while you're doing that, let me just say quickly. So there are links on Instagram and in his bio. There are links on Facebook if you're watching this. Wayne, the rest of you guys watching on YouTube, there are links to his store where everything is for sale. It's all there for what's – if it's sold, it's gone. If not, it, you can see what's available in the store. This was not part of the show. No, this, this, is, is, an this is an audible. This is an audible. I'm calling an audible. Thank you, cuz. And you know why? It's because I felt kind of not bad, but thinking, wow, we're having a live art show, but everything's like pretty much sold. So I thought, all right, I'm going to order something really quick. What could I print at my gallery here in Venice? So check these out. I have three of them. These are only available currently on my website as a limited edition. But I printed three of these. Oh, I don't have my gloves on. Sorry. One of my all-time favorite photos of all time. Ringo. Charlie Watts. With the drumsticks. Does that take your breath away or what? Wow. So... I'll tell you the quick backstory. All time legends. Legends. Hashtag all time legends. Beatles, Stones, right there. And this is a moment in time. We were at Ringo's house, and Ringo was showing Charlie his electronic kid. He got up and said, Charlie, you got to try. He handed him the sticks. And as Charlie was walking behind to grab the sticks, that's one frame, just quick photo, boom. Not posed, just a moment in time. And, you know, as I when I talk about this in my keynotes, is if I pose them holding the sticks, it would just be false. But this has such a great vibe to it because it was just a moment in time. I love it. Definitely my top three of favorite photos. So I have three of them here. I printed three today. I'm going to do a super limited edition, one of three, two of three, three of three, you see on the website. And I'm going to sign these, hand sign, and I'll hand label live art show 2021 and uh lori you got charlie smiling oh yeah there's a story behind that let's talk about that now all right you ready anyway so you go to the the art sale page if you want to pick these up there's only three available and only today so that brings me to this story you guys ready let's go okay 2006, the Rolling Stones were in LA and played Dodger Stadium. So I called Ringo day before the show, actually two days before the show. I called Ringo, hey man, Charlie Watts is in town. Let's get you guys together for a photo shoot. So next day, Charlie, Ringo and I and Jim Keltner met at Ringo's house. Look at that, 12 noon, the car pulls up, Charlie gets out. Starts running towards Ringo. Ringo. Wow. Ringo goes, Charlie. It's like the classic love story on the beach. The two. <laughs> <laughs> and look at that. Stones, Beatles. And this guy right over here, Jim Keltner, the great, great studio drummer, live drummer. Jim Keltner played on all of John Lennon's records and uh, Bob Dylan and just tons of people. You got to look up Jim Keltner, one of the greatest. George Harrison's records. Anyway, he and Charlie are good friends. So I called Jim and, and arranged to get Charlie there. I didn't have Charlie's number at the time. I do now. But anyway, so we spent the day hanging. And look at this. I only made four copies of this book. You're seeing it for the first time because it never leaves my office. So check wow. it out. All the photos from the day. Wow. There's no, an electronic kid I was talking about. This, this is mind-blowing. Yeah, this is a this really mind-blowing day. It's there's only one shot right there. That's the one of four, right? About this. Yeah, there's only four copies of this book in existence. And I'll tell you. You made your own private book. <laughs> so what I did was, I'll show you my favorite photo of the whole day. Right. I, I've seen that photo. I've seen that one. Yeah. There is uh, one. Uh, everything's reversed. So I keep moving the wrong way. No, it's okay. It looks, it looks normal for us. Tell us who's in this one. Oh, that's Ringo, Charlie, me, and Jim Keltner. All right, so I made each of those guys a copy of the book. And by the way, I had them sign a drum head, which is right there. Unbelievable. 
and that's the back cover of the book. So I made four copies, right? One's here in my office. They each have one. Ringo and Jim called me as soon as they got it. Rob, great, amazing. So glad you put that together. Like two months later, I'm in Florida and I'm sitting poolside and my phone rings. It's a London number. So of course you answer. Hello, Rob, it's Charlie Watts, drummer from the Rolling Stones. <laughs> like, Charlie, yeah, I know who you are. Uh, you don't have to say drummer for the Rolling Stones. And he said, Rob, that was fabulous, and you make me look like a movie star. That's hilarious. Oh, winning. <laughs> Hashtag winning. You made me look like a movie star. So fast forward. I never forget anything. Check this out. 2013 at Staples Center, I'm at Soundcheck with the Stones, and I do this shoot with Charlie with that snare drum. Look at that cool snare drum. Wow. Anyway, he signed this to me, but before I took the photo, all I had to say was, Charlie, you are a movie star. And he gave me that smile. Boom. There you and go. That photo. My favorite photo of Charlie. Which brings me to this piece of art. I have a feeling we went over 20 minutes. No one's worried about it, Rob. No one's worried about it. All right. Check this out. That's the touring snare drum. You guys seen it on stage with the Stones. I did the photos for the drum company that made it. Wow. And then I had Charlie sign one of these canvas prints for me. Look at that beautiful canvas print. Great piece of art, right? Beautiful. Never leaves my house. So you guys get to see it because I'm here. But it's going back in the plastic. It's going back in the cabinet. Uh, these things get saved. Rob, I think it's time to mention that we have something, something special going on until tonight, right? Until today midnight oh, yeah Juan, you want to announce yeah we we just have like a special code for tonight it's going to be only available till midnight so if you use i thought we were going to do 30. let's oh, do 30. let's do 30. okay i'll 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 change that oh wait you got to change everything we'll it's fine. it's okay it's okay it just takes a couple of seconds look at this boom it's just... live show <laughs> look at that how fast you <laughs> live show 30. Anything on my website except the books. Uh, yeah, okay, books too. 30% off. There you go. There you go. By the way, there. cousin, I love you. My wife and kids are yelling at me. Oh, thanks for letting us uh, share Patrick, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, cousin. Cuz has gone. All right, Juan, it's just you and I. Yep, it's just you and I. I'm just quickly. So what have you got left? I think that's it. Yeah, that's about it. It was a great show. Thank you so much to everyone who joined us. People were super engaged, happy about great. the stories Smart. and everything. We never got to the questions. You got questions? Well, I think we covered most of them. Oh, we did on the way. Yeah, OK. Uh, we have another question, Heidi, here. Who is in your next photo shoot? Any country music in the future? How about the struts? That's yes, country. I love working with the country artist, Phil Vassar. Luke Bryan, uh, you know, I, I get to Nashville. Well, up until COVID, I was in Nashville two, three times a year. And I would camp out there and shoot as many artists as I could. I love country. I love shooting country. Some really great stuff. And uh, if you see my book, I have a bunch of country artists in there. I just don't have them in my gallery show for today. There you go. Another question from Instagram. Any gallery shows on the horizon? Well, we're kind of waiting and seeing where everything's going. I know I have a keynote coming up in August and one in September, and probably both of those I'll be having a gallery show in the city, uh, Denver and Florida. So uh, stay tuned on my social channels. I'll let you all know. I'd love to see you at gallery shows. That's really fun. And I get to meet the folks right now. I'm just talking into my screen and I don't see anyone. So it's a little challenging, but I love the live shows. I hope to see you all at a show soon. Stay tuned. You can follow my Facebook, my Instagram. Of course, we're always posting wherever I'm going to be. So, yep. And also, just to remember, everyone, this this videos will be available on Facebook, YouTube, and IG, so you can rewatch it if you just joined. And yeah. Oh, we have the tongue lady asking. <laughs> Lori. <laughs> Lori, yeah. All right, let me tell you guys, you're probably curious about tongue. Yes, please, 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 give me some context. All right, Lori Morissette, 
I'm from the great state of Seattle. I've met her, I don't know how long ago, Lori, 10, 20 years, probably 20 years ago, at least. She is the girl that you see at the Rolling Stone shows and the big tongue. She has this big styrofoam tongue that she wears. It's hilarious. No, it all makes sense. Uh, she comes <laughs> to my band, the Hollywood Stones, and we, we started calling her Tongue Lady. Funny. She got, oh, she got a, a cool question here. Yeah. <laughs> What's your address and can I come over this weekend? <laughs> sure, come on. Come on, Laura, you can come hang anytime. You know where I'm at. Uh, I think uh, we got a final question here from Luis. Uh, he's from Mexico. Hey, Luis, yeah. how you doing? I live in Mexico too, right on. He's asking, what's your favorite camera and what's your favorite lens? Oh, uh, I'm a Nikon guy. There you go. Currently, I have a couple of D5s like this one here. Uh, this is the Nikon D5. Love it. And I've been a Nikon guy for a long, long time. The 400 is a great lens, a little heavy, a little bulky, but if I was to have only one lens, and sometimes I'll do that if I'm traveling on a vacation, I'll take this lens right here in my 24 to 70. This is a beautiful lens, 24 to 70 AFS, beautiful, sharp lens. Um, if I was to only have one lens on a tour, that would be it. It's a good one. Uh, usually a prime lens guy, you know, like 28 or 50 or 85 or 105. Sometimes the zoom will alleviate taking all those lenses with you. So good question. One lens, that'd be 24 seven. There you go. Awesome. We can take a couple more questions if you like. Yeah. Okay. Uh, someone on IG, have you done any metal shows? Metal. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I've done metal. Which ones? There's a ton of them in my book. Megadeth, Metallica. Metallica. Oh, Metallica, Jesus. Yeah. Um, whoever asked that question is probably thinking, that's not metal. Uh, <laughs> I've done a ton of metal. You'll see it in my book. Check it out. There you go. And then uh, I think we've covered this question before, but let's go ahead. Are you going to attend any Stone show on this tour? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I put uh like five in my book already i'm gonna try and get out to as many as i can la minnesota i'm gonna come see my folks uh, uh my, my peeps in soda uh i don't know vegas nashville hope to do as many as i can there you go leon saying hi rob cog the tell session such great picks say hi to hill hi to hill i'll do that leon how you doing Someone else joining from Mexico. Good spot, you guys. Rock on. There you go. And I think that's about it. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, Thanks good. for coming. I uh, hope you enjoyed the show. Hope you enjoyed the photographs. Hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes stories. Hope you enjoyed the memorabilia collection. I didn't even get into my crazy stuff. You want to see some crazy stuff? One. I'll share with you. Christina Aguilera lipstick. She came out of hair and makeup and. Oh, there you go. That's unique. At the end of the day, I'm tearing down and packing up and I saw it in the garbage. I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta have that. For sure, you have to have it. Yeah, just a little reminder to everyone, there's a special code going on tonight. Live show 30. Um, live show 30, there you go, yeah. So everything, it will be 30% off on his website. Just make sure to, you know. Grab a little something. And by all means, stay on my social, Insta, Facebook, YouTube, whatever. Send me messages. You can always email me, rob at robshanahan.com. If you have a question you're too embarrassed to ask or type out, uh, happy to help. Happy to answer anything I can. Lori said that was fun. Please do it again. Yeah, yeah we will. Cool. We'll do it again. We'll bring in new photos. I'll whip out some new uh, memorabilia. Man, I guess stories. Yeah. So, sure, we'll do it again. Why not? Sounds good. Thank you, everyone. And stay healthy. Keep rocking. Keep the spirit alive. And keep doing what you're doing. We're, you know, the COVID screwed up a lot of things, but stay positive. We'll get through this. And, uh, 
you know, we'll come out the other end, hopefully a better people. And, you know, COVID really wiped out my schedule. But you know what they say, when you're given lemons, make lemonade. And we didn't talk about this earlier, but, you know, so my whole schedule closed, but I'm home with my wife and daughter, had a beautiful summer and we spent a lot of time together. And then I decided, you know what? I think it's time to get an online gallery store. I finally had the time to uh, put together an online gallery store. And I found these guys at Art Storefronts and I was hooked. I was just, I knew that they were the company for me. So Patrick has been great. And uh, Juan, you've been terrific. And Nick Friend, the CEO, just really great guys. And we have our marketing meetings and they're just really geniuses at marketing. And you can tell if you've been following my socials and you get my emails, you know that I've been uh, posting a lot of stuff and sending out emails and sharing the stories behind the work. It's all part of the marketing plan. And I couldn't be happier with Art Storefront. So thank you guys. And uh, I'm glad you guys are enjoying the website and the emails. And thanks again for coming today. Awesome. Thanks for the shout out, Rob. All right. Good night, everybody. This was as the stones do it. Uh, <laughs> there you go. All, All right, right, guys. Love you all. It's gonna end the broadcast.